Oh, we've got a good one on the Court of Camfield this morning. Uh, this is where we rectify Rock's Wrongs. Uh, if you've ever heard anything in a song that wasn't spotted by the band or the producer, sounds that shouldn't be there, we need to know about it. If, the, if you've spotted any bad grammar or anything in a lyric that is actually incorrect, that can be up for consideration in the Court of Camfield. You just need to go to xfm.co.uk slash Ian. You can take a look at uh, the hearings we've had so far and you can contribute your own wrongs in rock and roll uh, today on the show i have uh, a message that andy sent in on email yesterday um he's talking about the final countdown this is andy's issue here uh, the line with so many light years to go and also the fact that elsewhere in the song it's referred to that they're heading to venus now according to andy venus is only a fraction of a light year away from earth so therefore there being so many light years to go plural is actually incorrect well to uh expand on the evidence and give his side of the story this morning on the no nonsense breakfast i'd like to welcome joey tempest from europe good morning joey Hi, good morning good morning <laughs> thank you for getting up early and giving us uh, the time of day to appear in the court of camfield brian may wouldn't come on he just wrote a blog about us but i'm i'm very <laughs> grateful that you've actually uh, uh, agreed to appear today yeah, I think it's great fun, great fun. <laughs> so uh, so tell me, has, has Andy got a case here? Because technically, uh, you were heading for Venus in the final countdown, and it is actually only a fraction of a light year away. Yeah, <laughs> I had to admit, I had a bit of a chuckle when I wrote those particular lines, uh, inspired by David Bowie's Space Oddity, I think, in those days. Um, yeah, maybe he has a point, but everybody should know this is set in a parallel universe, and that Venus has moved further away in this time and place. So, you know, maybe that's a case, maybe not. Oh, I think we might have cause to dismiss this there, because the fact that you're saying it's set in a parallel universe means that really you've got artistic license to put the, the planets wherever you want, I think. Exactly. Well, you know, they could have moved, it could be in a different situation. But anyway, it's, it's kind of fun. I did have a bit of a chuck when I wrote that. It's uh, heading for Venus and all that. It's kind of fun. And also, I think the fact that you managed to rhyme Venus with Cenus is a great line uh, in rock and roll. So actually, I'm throwing this out. Case dismissed. The fact that you've stated <laughs> that this song is taking place in a parallel universe means that if it was in the real world, Andy would be right. But no, Europe not guilty. All right. <laughs> and while, while, while you're on the phone, uh, Joey, we should mention there is a great new Europe album coming. Uh, I've been playing stuff from it on uh, Saturday nights on the XFM Rock Show. There's a new song that uh, people can check out called Last Look at Eden, right? That's right. Yeah, we made a, a modern sort of classic rock album we're very proud of. We're coming to tour in England in Feb next February and also Bloodstock Festival in August. Yeah, the, if, if people want to go check out a really varied rock and roll bill, because it's people like you, Carcass and Cradle of Filth all playing together at the, at the one place, right? Yeah, that's right. It's, we're looking forward to it. I think we can do some damage. We've done similar shows in France. Uh, we did Hellfest and... We're breaking in a little bit to the festival scene. I'd love to do some more next year in England, you know? Absolutely. Well, people can see you next month at uh, Bloodstock. As you say, the full uh, Europe uh, UK tour is, is going to happen in February. And uh, thank you for, very much for being the first rock star to actually agreeing to come into the dock and give evidence on the court of Camfield. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> That's great, Joey. Thank you very much for your time. All right, Ian. Thanks. Uh, cheers. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.